What in the world is up guys? Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on file compression for uh, Linux Ubuntu in the uh, terminal. So this is actually Linux Ubuntu 12.10. Uh, it's one of my servers. Um, I did do a previous tutorial on uh, doing file compression for 7-zip. I think I did another one for another type of file compression, but um, those are a little bit different because those don't come with the operating system by default. So these ones are actually a little bit easier because they do by default come with the operating system. You don't have to actually um, install or get any files. You don't have to do the sudo apt get or anything like that. These are all included in the Linux package. So um, I'm going to show you guys several different methods. I'm going to show you guys, you know, like uh, tar, uh, gzip, bzip2, things like that. And um, I mean, there are there are differences between the file compression methods. I'm not going to explain those because I mean, there's tons and tons of details into the differences between file compressions, the different types, and there are places where you do and don't use them, or you should and shouldn't. There's reasons for different types of file compression, but um, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it, not why or when to do it. But it's basically just going to, we're just going to go ahead and um, compress and decompress files using a Linux command line. So if I hit ls, we can see that there's actually a directory called mount. Now there's actually nothing in there, it's an empty directory, but we're going to compress and decompress it. Regardless of what's in there, how big or small it, it is, you can compress a, a folder or a directory. So we're going to go ahead and do that several different ways right now. First we're just going to create a uh, tar file, so .tar. You guys are all familiar with these, if you use Linux, you, you've seen a .tar file. So if we go ahead and say tar, so T-A-R, um, C-F, so this is uh, to create the file. So we're going to create a file, and um, we're going to name it. So you give the file the name. This is the file, this is the name of the new file. So I'm just going to name it new file, and it has to end with dot T-A-R, tar. So this is going to be the name of the new file that you create. And then you have to say what you want to um what you want to compress. So we want to compress the mount directory, M-O-U-N-T. Okay, now what I do have to say here is that um, when you do compress, it has to, the folder that you're compressing or whatever you're compressing has to be in your current directory. So you can't compress something from another directory unless you state that it's in that directory and you put the full location. So it has to know where the lo the exact location is. So if I hit that, it's not going to show anything. But if I hit ls now, we can see that it's created a file called newfile.tar. So this is a .tar version. This is a tar file of this folder, this uh, directory. And so that's how you can create a tar file. That's how you compress a folder into a tar or a file into a tar. And to extract that tar, to do to do the reverse process of it, you're going to say tar xf and then the file name, so new file dot tar, and then you just go like that. Um, the reason it's giving us an error right now is because um, it's going to overwrite this file because there's already a file called mount, and um, it's going to have to overwrite it. So if we actually remove that file, sudo rm minus r and then mount. Um, so now we go ls, and that's no longer there. So now we can actually go ahead and extract that file, and it will do it. So now if I go ls, it puts it back in there. It extracts it and puts it back as the original folder that it was. So we've successfully um, compressed this into a tar and de decompressed it back into a the original folder. So um, that's the tar method. So that's how you can create a tar. Now let's go ahead and talk about um, bzip2. So bzip2 is a different type of file compression. It's a different method of file compression. Um, and to uh, make a bzip2 uh, file compression, we're just going to do pretty similar, just tar. Um, cjf. Um, I don't know what the j is for, but it's just that's what you do when you're doing um, uh, the bzip2 compression. And then um, you say the f the file name, so the new file. So we're just going to call it new file dot tar dot uh, b 
z2. So it's creating a new file .tar bz 2 and you can name it whatever you want. Just make sure it ends in .tar bz 2 That's your new file name. You can call it whatever you want to call it. And then we're just going to go ahead and um, zip up the mount directory that we had in there before. So now if we go ls, we have uh, the new file .tar bz 2 So this is a bzip2 compressed version of this folder. And I'm actually going to, just for uh, to keep things simple, remove the the old one, the tar one that we created before. So now we're just left with the one that we're working with now. We have the bzip2 compressed mount folder. To decompress the bzip2 file that we just made, um, we're just going to go ahead and pretty much do the exact same thing that we did before. We're just going to say um, tar um, oh, tired xjf. So we're gonna extract the file, and we're just gonna say the file name. So new file tar bzip2, and then hit enter, and um, we can see that it still has it there. I didn't actually remove the mount folder. I can do that real quick just to show you guys. Remove minus r mount, and if I hit ls, now we just have the file. And then we can extract it and ls and the files back, the folder. So now we've successfully extracted or we've created a bzip2 and re extracted it to the original mount directory that we used to create the file. So now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the, the bzip2 file that I made. So remove um, new file.bzip2. So we just have the mount directory now. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, clear the screen. And we'll talk about um, gzip, gz, tar.gz. These are very, everybody who has used Linux is familiar with these because a lot of packages and stuff, a lot of uh, things come wrapped in a .tar.gz um, file compression method. So to create a tar.gz, you're just going to go ahead and say tar. CZF, CZF, um, it's another one of those weird ones. So you're creating a file, and then you're going to say uh, new file, or whatever you want to call it. New file dot, make sure it ends in dot tar dot gz. So that's the new file that you're going to create, and we're going to create it from the mount uh, directory that we have there. So now we go ls, and we have our mount directory, and we have our tar dot gz version. So we have our gz compressed, our gzip compressed mount folder. So we've taken this directory and compressed it into a tar.gz. And like I said, guys, this can be as big or small as you want it. You can have one or two files in there, or you can. This can be a hundred gigabyte folder. True, it's going to make a hundred gigabyte compressed file. Well, it will compress it, so it will be a little bit smaller depending on what you're compressing, and uh, it will make it smaller by who knows how much. Like I said, it just depends on the compression method and what it is that you're compressing. But you will have a really large file. I mean, you can have a file that's 100 gigs in size. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what you can do with it. It can be very useful. So to extract a tar.gz, which is very similar, just like before, tar xzf. So we're going to say xzf. Um, and then we're going to say the file name. So uh, actually, first I'm going to delete the mount folder just to show you. So um, sudo rm mount, and then so we got to do the reclusive minus r. So now if we go ahead and show you, the mount folder is not there. And then I'll just say um, tar dot um, xzf xzf and then we'll say new file and then now if I hit ls it's re-extracted it to the original directory that it was so that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to show you guys some quick little compression methods that come included in the Linux package um, they're very useful to create um, compressed files of directories or of other files and it just helps you save space or if you just want to store away a a folder of you know say um, media movies pictures whatever and you just want to compress it all into one file to 
organize it or whatever and you're not going to access it for a while you just want to store it away this is a great way to do it um, I showed you guys the just the uh, tar method to create a tar we created a tar dot, uh, we created a bzip2 file compression and a gz file compression a gzip so that's pretty much it guys those are three different uh, file compression methods I hope you guys found this tutorial a little useful and if you did give it a thumbs up shoot me a comment whatever um, and like always guys I hope you enjoyed it and have a good one